So once we get the product contained, get the situation itself mitigated, and then they will do survey the area, the air, and once again, we'll send out a public message speaking to whether or not you can return to your home if there's any further uh, cause or concern. Title, Unveiling the Biolab Fire, What You Need to Know About the Chemical Plant Incident. Date and Time, September 29th, 2024, at around 5 a.m. Location, Conyers, Georgia. Intro. Hi everyone, I'm Buddy Huggins, and today we're diving into an important question. Why is it called Biolab? And what does that mean in this case? Does it imply that the air was dangerous to breathe during the fire? Let's explore the details together. And just so you know, I'm working with my AI co-pilot to bring you this information. Main content. The term Biolab in this context refers to the company name rather than indicating a biological laboratory. Biolab is a division of KIK Consumer Products and specializes in manufacturing chemicals for swimming pool and spa water care. They produce brands like BioGuard and SpaGuard, which are well known for their water treatment products. Why the name Biolab? The name Biolab might suggest a focus on biological or chemical products, but in this case, it primarily relates to their role in producing water treatment chemicals. The bio prefix can be misleading, as it doesn't necessarily mean the products are biological in nature. Health risks and safety concerns. The fire at the Biolab plant involved chemicals that can be hazardous when released into the environment. Here are some key points. Chemical reactions. The fire was caused by a malfunctioning sprinkler head that mixed with a water reactive chemical, leading to a significant chemical reaction. Toxic smoke. The fire produced large plumes of smoke, which can be dangerous to inhale. Residents were evacuated, and others were advised to shelter in place to avoid exposure to potentially toxic fumes. Air quality. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, is expected to conduct air quality tests to assess any potential hazards from the smoke. Historical context. This is not the first incident at the Biolab facility. A similar fire occurred in 2004, causing similar concerns about air quality and safety. Conclusion. While the name Biolab might suggest a focus on biological research. In this case, it refers to a company that manufactures chemical products for water treatment. The fire at the plant posed significant health risks due to the release of toxic smoke, prompting evacuations and air quality monitoring.